Hello everybody, Marcos Viegas being joined here with Iris Landy Lara, the longest reigning 154 pound champion right now in the current, being joined along with translator Uda Cubis Jr. Looking at this fight, uh, Iris Landy, there was a lot of back and forth talk at, at the press conference. It didn't seem to bother you, but Jared said that this fight's personal because of the comments you made towards him uh, on Twitter. What do you make of that? And is this fight a at all uh, a fight that is getting personal because of the trash talk now? No. Estoy en deporte, estoy así. Este es un negocio que es así, esto lleva su para adelante y para atrás, como siempre va a haber. Pero bueno, no me afectó nada, estamos bien enfocados y estamos listos ya para sábado. Absolutamente no. You know, this is a, a, a business where you gotta have the back and forth, you gotta have the excitement, and um, it's not personal to him at all. He's gotta do his job, he's gotta get in the ring, he's gotta win, win his fight, and that's what's most important. I know a lot of people have mentioned his style being very similar, and this fight being very similar to the Angulo fight. What do you make of all that? And are they right to say that? Is there similarities there? Eh, para ti, eh, mucha gente está diciendo posible esto puede ser como la pelea de Angulo. Eh, para ti, tú ves algo igual para ti? Este, para mí no. Y para mí yo veo, yo veo el boxeador que viene para adelante. Yo estoy seguro que él no es más fuerte que Angulo. 100%. Angulo lo, yo le pegué bien duro. Yo espero cuando le pegue a él a ver si es de verdad es fuerte, como dice que es strong. Y vamos a ver qué pasa. Says, you know, obviously Angulo is a warrior, a strong guy. I hit Angulo with some big bombs and he kept coming, but he's a warrior. And we're going to find out with his big mouth when he starts taking these shots, is he really going to have the heart he says he has to keep coming through that fire? And if he does, he's going to take a lot of punishment. Do you feel with this pressure, you're going to be able to move around for all those 12 rounds? Because in, in herd fights, he's always behind on the cards, but it seems around seven, eight, nine, that's really when he starts pressuring it on his opponents and they start breaking them down. Hey, para ti, eh Es importante para nada más ganar los primeros rounds porque siempre se cae atrás en las peleas, pero él viene fuerte el 7, el 8, 9, ¿qué tú crees? Eso es el problema, que yo también vengo fuerte el 6, 7, 8 también. Eso es lo que pasa. Vamos a ver entonces que cuando nos encontremos en, esa, en ese round a ver qué pasa. He says, you know, that, that's the problem for him. That's where I get stronger too. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, we're going to find out how strong he comes. He's been 10 rounds two times in his career. Lars has been 10 plus, 10 plus rounds 12 times in his career. We're going to find out what he's got. Where do you rank Jared Hurd as an opponent compared to the other opponents you've had in your career? He says the reason he puts him there is obviously Paul Williams got to be at the top. Alfredo Angulo is a great warrior. Canelo Alvarez is a whole other level. Um, Vaughn is Matarosian, people don't give him credit, but he's a great amateur, ton of experience. This kid only had 50 amateur fights. He was 30, 30 wins, 20 losses in amateur. His experience is going to cost him big. In terms of the age difference in the fight, are people looking too much into that? Because they feel that maybe, you know, at his age, that could show up in the fight? Para ti, tú crees la edad, la gente está hablando mucho de la edad. Sí, mira, Flo, mira. El mejor, el mejor boxeador del mundo, Flo, me voy y que ya tiene. Ben Hawking peleó a los 50 años. Eso no significa nada. He says, you know, age means nothing. The best fighter a few years ago was Floyd Mayweather. He was 40, year, 40 years old. Bernard Hopkins fought the best till he was 50 years old. It's not about age, it's about, it's about uh, skills. I know there's a lot of fights for you, but I, I know a move up to 160 is also a, a thing that yourself and your team has thought about. I'm curious to think uh, what are your thoughts about what happened with Canelo Alvarez with not only his test results but also the fight being canceled against Gennady Golovkin seeing that you fought Canelo. Eh, obvio que está aquí mucho tiempo, un día posible subir a 60. Eh, ¿Qué tú crees sobre lo que ha pasado con Canelo y, y la pelea con Golovkin? Este, como le dije, fue una, una falta de respeto para, para los fanáticos que ya estaban ansiosos, habían comprado su ticket, su boleto para, para ver esa pelea, esa gran pelea que era la, la, el rematch. Pero bueno, salió con prueba doping y de verdad que eso es una falta de respeto para el boxeo. Dice, you know, he thinks it's disrespectful when, when any athlete tests positive, you know, but uh, you know, obviously the fans were very excited. People bought their airline tickets, they bought their fight tickets, and everyone's excited. So obviously it's a huge blow for the fans, but uh, We'll see how that plays out. What does he make of the whole contamination? 
What's his opinion on that? Nunca me había escuchado eso. Lo que tengo historia de voceo, nunca me había escuchado eso. I've never heard of that before, so I, I can't can't tell you. I've never heard of that before. So since you fought Canelo, is there suspicion on his end at all, or does he feel because he's passed every single test in his entire career that fans are, are looking too much into that and it's hearsay? Do you think? Say, repeat the question again. Does he have any suspicions about? Canelo. ¿Tú, ¿Tú crees que Canelo sí estaba haciéndolo o tú claro. crees que...? ¿Ah? Yo creo que sí. Claro, el cuerpo le cambió, la cabeza le cambió, todo le cambió. Says, yeah, I mean, if you look at his body, his body changed a lot. His head got bigger, you know. Those are, those are telltale signs, but uh, like he says, it, until the, jur the jury's out, the verdict's out, it's, it's hard to say. You fought him then. Do you feel that maybe something like that was going on with your fight with him? No, no, no tiene. Cuando yo pelee con él, no tiene que ver nada con lo que tenía ahora, con el cuerpo que tiene ahora. Es diferente. He said no. You know, all fights are different. Cuando aquel tiempo era un gordo, no era un hombre como estaba ahora. Estaba bien fuerte, bien. So when he saw him more that way, he was more like a chunky guy, a little fat, you know. But now he sees him big, strong, swole, muscles bulging. But like he says, he he can't say whether he was or wasn't. That's not his his job. How soon is he going to go up to 160? After he cleans out the whole division, takes all the belts. All right. There's Landy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. This man right here, unification fight, going up against Swift. Jared Hurd this Saturday on Showtime.